And then this is what happened. We got cooked, bros. I can't even afford a shirt right now. I mean, Mount Gox is about to dump on us $2.7 billion. Germany dumped two and a half billion. They have more to dump. Entire market's trash. Timeline is trash. Everybody's bear posting. And our trading wallet, nearly at zero. But we're gonna make it all back and we're gonna do another challenge and this is what we're gonna do. I paid for an alpha group, a private alpha group with a premium that just promises these insane returns. And we're gonna try it out for a week. Right now I am about 14 hours in and I'm gonna show you so far what I've seen by paying this alpha group in the last 14 hours. And we're gonna update you as you go, but specifically we're gonna see how much money we can make in one week trading Solana meme coins. Yep, that's my buy right here. And then this is what happened. All the way out, all the way out. So what do you notice about the market right now, other than the fact that everything is getting cooked? I mean, Bitcoin down 7% for the week, Ethereum down 11% for the week. These largest gainers are all meme coins. You have Billy, GigaChad, and I don't know what Open Campus is, but ultimately a lot of these meme coins are actually serving as a hedge against some of the rest of the market. So during this time, you know, we dropped below that 58K support. So really we're gonna be in the 50s, possibly for a little bit after everything I said at the beginning of this video. So really the point of this challenge and this alpha group and everything is to really build up these main bags of Solana. So we're gonna trade Solana meme coins to get more Solana. Same thing for base and ETH and even with different things with runes on Bitcoin. This one specifically is going to be on Solana though. So honestly, a majority of my wins uh, recently have came from literally just by myself going through Pump Vision, finding out some methods, which I shared in my last video um, and getting some wins there or literally just finding them on Twitter. You can see some of these, but ultimately I have been getting wrecked. I'm not going to lie. This has been a really rough challenge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what I've learned so far. By the way, this platform that I'm using is called Bullex. Um, I can get you 10% off trading fees, link down below. But that to the side, what have I learned so far in this alpha group? So one thing I didn't mention earlier is I don't wanna throw the group under the bus, especially not this early in the process, only being 14 hours in. Now maybe if I do really well before the week is up, then I'll give them a shout out, but I'm not gonna give any specifics right now. But there's been a lot of this, a lot of people calling like 10 different things. Some of them are realistic callers, some aren't. It goes up to nothing, like a big nothing burger, at like 30K, and then goes back down to zero. One out of 10 calls, might do decent at least for a small amount of time and even and then of course they're going to be like oh bro you faded me on this one call whereas like other things which i actually bought this last night this stupid butterfly dog which went to zero faded the other one which was wizzy which wizzy is doing pretty good right now it's at 287k um, by the way nothing i'm mentioning in this video i supporting in any sort of way i'm just talking about some of the trades i've been seeing they're saying that this could have a longer time horizon we'll kind of see what that does over the next few days uh, one of the things I'm doing in this wallet too, which is again, just about liquidated is I'm not holding anything. Literally I have zero positions. Everything I'm getting in, getting out of, at most, I'll probably go to sleep on something, but that's about it. So here's a couple of notes that I've taken for my first 14 hours. Again, don't wanna throw anybody in the bus just quite yet. Um, but yeah, so I aped one soul into, uh, on the, which is the one I just showed you, Butterfly Dog, uh, on a call that the developer paid 10K for deck screener. He knows the team, blah, blah, blah. It was an absolute immediate rug. And this was the, the official channel that only paid subscribers got to this alpha group. Next, uh, the group owner, and I don't wanna get too much away i'm probably only going to have this on youtube because i don't want it like you know rumors to spread or whatever literally the group owner came into his own chat and was like yo i don't know how i'm going to share calls anymore because i have too many people tracking my wallet like what um uh, basically like i just paid for this group and the group owner's like, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to share calls because I don't want to use another wallet, I guess. I don't know if he's just thinking out loud or what, but it seemed like extremely unorganized and a weird thing to say. Um, and this is how, you know, influencers make money, essentially. Like, uh, I don't even want to say influencers, cause not, not necessarily people who get a lot of views, but people who are known for a good track record of trading is so many people copy trade their wallet that as soon as they buy these low market cap tokens, like if something is like a $10,000 market cap, immediately people buy it and might send it to 30, 40, or 50. 
Now, as a group owner, I personally think it's your responsibility to use a different wallet for your private group um, or to, I don't know. There's gotta be a better solution than coming in a chat being like, sorry guys, I don't know how much I can share because um, now if I buy something, it automatically goes up. That's just a weird freaking thing to say, but we'll move on to the next thing. One of the head mods announced that they're going to do their own group in this private group that I paid for. What? Like I, Again, that's just like another weird thing to me. Uh, I have some more notes on this just in general as well. Um, I always hate when I join a group and I ask very basic questions and then people come off like aggressively or and or do not answer. It's like, brother, I'm paying to be here. If I ask you a question about your call, I don't expect you to respond in the first 5, 10, 15 minutes, but like don't just like flat out ignore it. Um, you know, like I don't know. It's just like a weird thing to me is paying for a group, having an open chat and then just getting completely stiffed or looked at like you're stupid. Big red flag for me, but this is a group that I joined, like one of the most respected groups in this space um, that I am paying for just to kind of test it out. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to start off with yet, but I'm going to keep you guys updated on exactly the wins and losses along the way throughout this week. If you want daily videos or at least daily updates of this, then like this video, share it, you know, comment something down below. Let me know that because if this video doesn't get a lot of views, then obviously you guys don't care. So there's no reason for me to keep on posting the updates until the final one. But if you guys want more videos like this throughout the process, definitely let me know. And I can't wait to share with you guys whether this was a success or a failure, especially on a downtrend of the market. And I'll see you guys next video.